welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I'm the author of the Young Adult Fantasy Fury and Rising, and this is English Nerd. So I wanted to do a slightly different video today. I don't, I hardly even know what that means. I do so many different kinds of videos, but one that I have not done before, and that is taking a bookshelf tour. Now I didn't really clean up my bookshelves or anything to prepare for this, so it's just going to be as it normally is, I guess. So let's, let's take a little tour around the room. Okay, is that, that's good, that's good. Okay, so we'll start in my corner where I actually do all of my filming. You can see that I have some good stuff here. Now, if you move these delightful pictures of Pippin, you can see all of my writing books are back there. I have some some gems that I really like. Okay, let's go to this first this first shelf here. So I have the, my kids' books up here with some Robin Hood guys, of course, so kids' classics and ones that I've collected over the years. Down here, I have my old book collection. My very oldest book is this one. It's from 1813, so really pretty gorgeous. So lots of old books there. I have my Harry Potter shelf down here. That is hard to see, but it's a Platform 9 and 3 quarters uh, ticket that I actually got at Platform 9 and 3 quarters, which is awesome. So I have the books. I have some special things. After that, I have my Tolkien shelf, which has a whole lot of stuff on it. If you've watched my unboxing videos, you know that I have tons of tons of merch. Probably my favorite, though, has to be the, the uh, Minas Tirith box. It's actually a box it opens. So lots of, lots of cool stuff there. I have a Gondor banner. I'm, I need to figure out what to do with that. Okay, then I have my Charles Dickens shelf. If you have been uh, with the channel for a little bit, then you know I'm doing a, a Tale of Two Cities series. <laughs> so yes, I'm a huge fan. So I have these nerdy versions and I have some Wishbone, because why not? Okay, so down here I have some reference materials. It's not the most exciting shelf down there. And then my Lord of the Rings box is kind of in the way. Okay, so moving, moving right along then. Here, I don't exactly have a bookshelf, but I do have some of my smallest little books over there. Down here, I have all my Sherlock Holmes. I have uh, some of my own, my own stuff. So, you know, it's good to be proud of what you've done, right? And I have uh, Chronicles of Narnia and all that right there. Okay, on to my next bookshelf. This is kind of a catch-all shelf. Um, I have some Alcrate stuff and just general books. Down here I have my sci-fi, so uh, General or Admiral Akbar, of course, is there, and uh, some Marissa Meyer and Andy Weir. So that is all my sci-fi. Down here I have a lot of young adult fantasy and uh, adult fantasy as well. So you can see I've, I'm either currently reading or I've lent out a few on this shelf. Down here I have some hardcovers. I like to keep the hardcovers separate usually from the others. So this is mostly fantasy as well. And um, down here I don't, I just have some extra stuff. So I have The Little Prince, it's the complete book, and then I have some Charlie Brown encyclopedias back there from when I was a kid, because, you know, why not? Why not do that? Okay, so moving on over here, I have uh, some nonfiction. So this is my biography and essay section. Um, yeah, pretty much biographies and, and essays there. Over here I have my Dostoevsky shelf, because of course I have a Dostoevsky shelf. Uh, at least it's mostly until you get to these, and then those are the Barnes & Noble classics that they did for a little while. 
um, that I loved. They were like $5 unabridged um, hardcover. So very nice, very pretty. I have some National Geographics. I only got this pack because it had the original um, Afghan uh, girl, which I thought was really cool. Okay, then I have some poetry. I have some Dante in the corner there, some Keats, some Dunn, uh, more poetry, including epic poetry. So I have some Homer and Beowulf and all that. Some C.S. Lewis in the corner. <laughs> and then we go down. Shakespeare, you have to have a Shakespeare shelf. Let me give you a better view there. Okay, so lots of Shakespeare nerdy stuff. Um, and Dover Thrift Editions, those are fantastic. Um, they're cheap, but they're unabridged, and that is awesome. Over here, I just have some hardcovers. Again, I like to keep hardcovers mostly by themselves, so nice hardcovers there. Here I have a bunch of classics. Oh, yeah, those are my, those are my precious moments from when I was <laughs> a little. Um, there's my change, Paradise Falls. But anyway, this is, this is a bunch of soft cover uh, paperback classics. You can see I have some dystopian in the corner. And then I have my uh, Christian books at the bottom. So I have the fiction over here and I have nonfiction over there. And this is a plate I got when I went to, went to Nazareth, which is pretty, pretty nifty. It's a fascinating place, let me tell you. Okay, so that was a little tour of my bookshelves. I don't know if that was <laughs> useful or interesting, but uh, you can take a look and I would recommend the vast majority of what I have on my, my shelves. I haven't read it all technically, but I've read a good, good portion of it, a good majority. So I hope you have a great week. Like this video if you like it, and I will see you next week.